Uh, hello viewers, welcome to Elimu TV, a session whereby we are going to learn and interact together. We are going to have our mathematics form 4, lesson 17, whereby your tutor will be me, Mr. Gerald, and uh, we are going to unload the topic on statistics 2, and uh, the subtopic quartiles, deciles, and also percentiles. Uh, but before that, we are going to have the following lesson objectives, whereby by the end of this lesson, you should be able to calculate the lower quartiles and upper quartiles. Uh, hmm, yes, you are welcome. So we are going to look at the following example, uh, whereby we are saying quartiles divide a set of data into four equal parts. Those are quartiles. I feel the word quartile is coming from the word quarter. Deciles divide a set of data into ten equal parts. Deciles can come from the word decade. Remember, a decade is ten years, so it is dividing it at ten equal parts. We have got percentiles divide a set of data into hundred equal parts. Percentiles is coming from the word percentage. Percentage obviously is something that is out of a hundred, so uh, you should be able to remember that. As you can see, we have got us. Uh, a given set of data whereby we have got marks and we have got this frequency we have got the marks from our around uh, at these marks we are going to uh, uh, divide it into several classes whereby we have got the first class that is from mark 1 to mark 10 the frequency here we have got three students that is to mean uh, the number of students who got the marks from uh, 1 to 10 they are 3 11 to 20 they are 4 and so forth so what you normally do, you come and tabu uh, tabulate uh, those um, you tabulate uh, those marks. Uh, we have got a different example here. This is the one that we are going to use. Whereby we are being told, the table below shows the distribution of height to the nearest centimeter of 40 students. So the height of the students is is ranging from 145 to 179. So we divide these heights into several classes. So the class that is having 145 students, that's the height of 145 to 149, the students are only two. The height of the students that are, are having the height of uh, 150 to 150 centimeters, they are five, and so forth up to 175 to 179 uh, centimeters, it's only one student. Then you are required to calculate the mean, uh, that is the median height, the lower quartile and uh, the upper quartile. So that is what I would like us um, to solve. Um, actually, there are 40 students, therefore, the median height is the average of heights of their 20th and the 21st uh, students. Remember, 40 is an even number, so we, there is no way we are going to get uh, a median that is very uh, direct. So here, to get the median, we are going to get between the 20th and the 21st student. So what you normally do, uh, you just tabulate it, uh, as you can see from our screen, then uh, you calculate as follows. Both the 20th and 21st students fall in the 155 to 159 class. What you normally do, you just come and look at the cumulative uh, frequency. So the cumulative frequency actually is an addition of, uh, let us look at the frequency. You can just get a 2, that is the first cumulative frequency. Then you get your 2 plus 5, that is the second frequency to get 7. Then that is, uh, you get 5 plus 16, that is in the column of um, uh, frequencies to get your 23. So what we, what we are going to do, because we have said the median is between the 20th and 21st student, you look at the cumulative frequency, then you shall see uh, the, uh, which is the class that is actually between um, the median that you've just preferred. So in our case, it is between the 155 and the 150, uh, 159. Uh, this class is called the median class. Using the formula, uh, that actually this is the formula uh, to get the median, probably you are going to have M is given by is equal to L, plus n over 2 minus c all uh, into i uh, where um, and everything you divide by f and we have got a representation of the same um, here our l is the lower class limit of the median class we have n is the total frequency we have c which is the cumulative frequency above the median class this one is very important for you to understand because there are some uh, learners who might confuse the c whereby the you take your c to be the uh, cumulative frequency in the median class but we are saying that c is the cumulative frequency above the median class we have the i which is the class interval and we have our f which is the frequency of the median class having uh, those um, definitions we are going now to calculate our median uh, our height of the 20th students we are going to have uh, 154.5 remember our 150 
uh, 4.5 is the highest class frequency of the of the uh, median class that is 154.5 then we add uh, we are going to add uh, 13 you modify 13 over 16 the reason why it is 13 is because uh, we are going to have uh, 23 you subtract the median uh, you subtract uh, get 20 you subtract 7 that is the class above so you are going to get um, 13 so actually um, this is what you are going to get times 5 over 16 so uh, eventually you're going to get 115.5 and that is you just take you just do the same to the 21st uh, the 21st student so eventually you are going to get um, 158.875 and you get the 20th and the 21st student then you divide by 2 uh, we also require to calculate our lower quartile uh, whereby you are, our lower quartile you are being is being given by the formula as we are seeing from our screen so you are going to get our uh, class that is just uh, in the median class that is 154.5 plus the total number of students which is 40 divided by 4 because we are saying that our lower quartile is just like a quarter that is why we are dividing it by 4 you subtract by the median class then uh, the class interval that is 5 you get you are going to get 155.4375 uh, the same as uh, actually upper quartile upper quartile is the same as um, are the three quarters so you add uh you are going to uh, eventually you're going to get 163.3889 uh, having said that uh, you are required to have the following activity whereby you are required to determine the lower quartile and upper quartile uh from the following set of data as you can see from our screen uh for more uh, information in this lesson you can um, refer from klb secondary mathematics student book four, which is the fourth edition of nairobi it has been certified with the kenya literature bureau and to get more of our mathematics lesson you can send us an sms through the number of or that is on our screen or you subscribe to both our youtube and facebook page which are both the limu tv or you tweet us at the limu tv underscore ke let us subscribe to all these channels and we shall get uh, more interesting mathematics lessons thank you